says the president still won't get serious about spending cuts. What we hear from the president is continuing uh, only discussion on one side of the ledger. Senate Democratic leader Harry Reid says Republicans expect too much. You have a card game. You show us all your cards, and then we'll show you ours. Reid says first Republicans have to agree on higher taxes for wealthier Americans, or he says the nation goes over the fiscal cliff. Lisa? Hi, thanks. More talks on Syria, even as another explosion rocks Damascus. Fox News Radio's Emily Wither, live in our Mideast Bureau. Lisa, according to Syrian state television, an explosion has targeted the Interior Ministry building in the capital, Damascus. There's no word yet on casualties or damage. This comes as more than 100 countries including the U.S., officially recognized Syria's national coalition made up of opposition groups at a meeting in Morocco. <laughs> As the leader, Moaz al-Hatib, he's calling on Syria's Alawite community, the Muslim sect Assad belongs to, to rise up and switch to their side. Lisa. Emily, thanks. A former janitor at a mega church in Tulsa, Oklahoma, just sentenced to 55 years in prison. He pleaded guilty to raping a 13-year-old girl in a church stairwell. Stocks higher for now, but not by much, awaiting the outcome of the Fed's two-day meeting. Right now, the Dow is up five points. You're listening to Fox News Radio, fair and balanced. Bruno Mars leads this week's music releases in the Fox Light. The recent SNL host and musical guest drops his second album, Unorthodox Jukebox. Green Day complete their trilogy of album releases with the final entry, Trey. Vicious Lies and Dangerous Rumors is the second solo album from former Outcast partner, Big Boy. A big roster of hip-hop heavyweights, including Kanye West, Common, Lil Wayne, and Chris Brown, joined the game on his fifth album, Jesus Peace. Lifehouse corralled Chris Daughtry, Natasha Benningfield, and Peter Frampton for guest shots on Elmeria. The music of Nashville is the soundtrack from the ABC hit show with tracks by series stars Hayden Panettiere and Connie Britton. And there's reissues and more in the Fox Life blog and podcast at foxnewsradio.com. In New York, Rob Moore, Fox News Talk. Fox Life. Keep listening for more focus from the Fox Life on Fox News Talk. past the hour. I'm Tina LaValle for News Talk 105.9 WLNI. The medical examiner has determined the cause of death for the woman found in a school road residence in her back on October 9th. According to the Alta Vista Journal, police released the findings on Monday, which concluded that the woman who was in her mid-20s died of a heroin overdose. Authorities have not released the name of the victim and say an investigation is ongoing. It's been illuminated almost every Christmas since 1953, and for many families near and far, driving through the Elks National Home in Bedford has been a Christmas tradition for generations. The elaborate display grows year after year, and now about 65,000 lights cover most of the front yard. Maintenance workers spend months putting it all together. Display designers had been at work since mid-September, and now the wait is nearly over. The lights will be turned on Friday at 5.30 and will remain on until 10 p.m. every night through New Year's Eve. This news has been brought to you by Garmin. Drive with good cheer, Newbie is here. This holiday season, give Garmin the most trusted name in GPS. It's four minutes past the hour. Now you're up to date. I'm Tina LaValle for News Talk 105.9 WFMI. Here's the latest forecast from the Storm Team 10 Weather Center on WLNI. Here's your Storm Team 10 forecast. We're starting off with mostly cloudy skies, and we'll stay mostly cloudy as the day goes along. Could see a couple stray showers in the south side today. With high temperatures only near 50. Heading into tonight, skies clear out for us. We've got a cold night on the way as overnight lows drop to near 30. And then sunshine returns for your Thursday. We look for high temperatures in the mid-50s. From the Storm Team 10 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Patrick McKee. Heritage Green Assisted Living, located at 201 Lillian Lane in Lynchburg, sends a warm holiday wish to you and your family for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Phillips Wheel Alignment has been serving the Lynchburg area for 42 years with the best wheel alignments and wagon bay and axle and strut replacement. But now they're offering so much more as they welcome Mike Ingram, formerly of Lakeside Auto, to their excellent staff. Now you can get oil change, transmission, and power auto repair, as well as brakes and suspension. They also sell and install and your 
Phillips Pay Batteries. Why run all over town to get your car repaired when one stop with Phillips Wheel Alignment can take care of everything? Phillips Wheel Alignment, 2604 Water Street, or call 845 7616. Silver and gold are at a nine month high. Be sure to cash in now at Rockies. 90% silver coins bring $22 to $24 per dollar. And silver dollars bring $25.